What does the future of Power Rangers look like after Once and Always and Cosmic Fury? Now that is a huge question mark, guys. Back in 2020 was when we first found out about the Ent Whistle reboot, and here we are in 2023 still with zero information really, except for Jenny Klein is the showrunner now. We're gonna make some fan theories and tell you what we think is going to happen. Let's break it down. And hit that intro. I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake. 2023 is a good year to be a Power Ranger fan. We have once and always coming up very soon. I think we're like 20 days away. It's crazy. We will be here every step of that ride. And then after that, we have Power Rangers Cosmic Fury in the fall. This 10 episode mini season, if you will. And it's going to be one giant build up. I hear it's just going to be crazy. I'm excited for that. And then after that, we have no idea deal what is happening all right so back in 2020 it was announced that jonathan entwistle was the main guy in charge for the power rangers reboot project and once covid took over the country it shut a lot of things down and it did push this project back but for some reason we just can't get the ball rolling on this project now there was an investor call a few weeks ago and they talked about how power rangers is still an exciting brand and it's profitable it's making them money however there were some things that were done behind closed doors that led to it not making a profit this year but when you look at the toy sales the fans are definitely buying the toys buying the merch watching the show and keeping it alive I don't think it's their top brand, but they said it's one of their emerging brands, one of those that's actually making a profit. Now, here's what I think. I could totally be wrong, but there's always seasons. Sometimes you got to take an L to take a W. Now, maybe they threw a bunch of money into a reboot and they were filming a bunch of stuff. Maybe there is something out there or maybe what if they already had a project greenlit and not necessarily casting, but they were going through all of the steps to get figures, all of these things going, and they ended up kind of canceling that or pushing it back. Now, we did hear that there was a leaked script and it was trashed. It was thrown away. Well, then were they working on another script? What exactly is going on with this project? It's three years in, and all we really know is Jenny Klein is an addition to the team. And I like bringing her to the team. I, I hear that she could help with the TV series and be the showrunner of that which is amazing because she has got her hands dirty with a bunch of different type of shows. And I think that that helps Power Rangers. Sometimes when one person comes along and just does one style thing, it might look like Power Rangers, but whatever his biggest project is. I kind of want them to be versatile because Power Rangers is a versatile show. It has a lot of things going on. It's not your normal Batman or Marvel, Avengers, you know, stuff like that. It does have its own vibe and it can be darker. No one's saying that, but you have to keep some of the things that make Power Rangers great at the same time. I'm not for sure what's going on, and we have seen other movies get thrown away. We've seen the Batgirl movie. They were screening that. They spent the time and money to get Michael Keaton in there as Batman, I hear, and then they just pulled the plug because they didn't think it was going to be good enough. Was it something like this? There was something that happened behind closed doors that we might never know about. Maybe after so long, someone will talk about it, but there's something that happened in the dark at one of the studios. They canceled something and it costed them some money. Now, this could be on the, the toy side, but one of the most expensive thing that people forget about is it's entertainment. It is such a roller coaster. Some of these projects take so much money to kind of put together and develop, especially when you're doing a lot of stuff. 
And I do think that there was something planned. It got canceled. I do think that they're gonna continue to work on this project, but we're not gonna get it to like 24 or 25. And what does that mean for the rest of Power Rangers? So here are just a few fan theories of what could happen in 2024. So here is one that I think a lot of the fans that currently watch the show will like, okay? If once and always does good, we hear that the sets are still up in New Zealand. And if they are, that means that they could come back and do a part two. That also means that we're testing out this Cosmic Fury thing with 10 episodes. What if this is just a teaser? And if we have another good year, we just repeat 2023 and 2024. Make a part two special, make it even crazier and bring back other Rangers we haven't seen in a minute. And then also call up the Cosmic Fury team and have them come back for another 10 episodes. But we'll see because we have to watch how these things end or they just fully complete their mission and they don't have to be Rangers anymore. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen, but the future is bright. And one thing that I do always wanna talk about when we're talking about the future is I would love to see like a little kid show. I want to see an older, like young adult show, TV 14 style, I'm all for that. 100%. I would enjoy that more than anything else. However, I know that Power Rangers isn't as big with the kids as it was when we were kids. We're not really tapped in with the young market anymore. It would be awesome if we did have a preschool kindergarten type show where they could go the comedy direction and make it silly and funny like a Teen Titans Go, or they could make it like a learning type show or make it like Spidey and his amazing friends on the Disney Channel. That would be a lot of fun and you could access a bunch of old Rangers. As parents and as older fans, we could appreciate what they're trying to do. I know so many adults that hate Teen Titans Go and I actually appreciate the show because it came out when my son was like four or five and he loved it. He loved that show. He thought it was so funny and we saw the movie and like I see why the kids like it and because it was a hit and the kids were watching it, they were able to give us a live action Titan show and that thing was baller. So at the end of the day, I do think that the fans have to go support whatever they do, but they need to make different shows for different markets. You have your little kid show, your big kid show, and then you can still hit the people with a special or two or 10 episodes. Once this reboot starts happening, will there be other projects that will be released? Will there be a little kid show? Will they still continue to have Power Rangers in the format it is now? We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts about the future of Power Rangers in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give us special shout out to the gold ranger members anime king nick chaos draco the arctic operator thomas franco tim rage dig wyron roderick hare miguel ortiz the voiceless one let's talk sports dead echo x-ray papleon oger and roderick ham thank you guys so much for the support and if you want a video shout out like this one sign up to be a gold ranger member today thanks for watching this video if you like this content you know what to do hit that like hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell you can also become a member please join the fan club support team right now we have a a blue ranger power up and a gold ranger power up this is an awesome way to talk with the fans join a fan club official chat group you can also be featured in our videos at the end of the videos i will shout you out that's if you get the gold ranger power up membership go check it out go support the fan club we love you guys and thanks for watching peace